Hello guys, Greg back with another video. So there's been a question that's popped up a few times in Facebook groups recently that I've seen and it was, if you could only keep five fragrances from your collection for the rest of your life, which five would you pick? Which is obviously really difficult to do, but I thought I'd give it a go, try and answer it and do a video on it. So I've picked five. They're not my absolute, probably favourite fragrant five fragrances that I own, but they're five fragrances that definitely ones that I love and that would probably suit all occasions that I need to, to last me if I was only going to have five fragrances. So let's have a look at the five I picked. First one that you can see here, Creed's Virgin Island Water. So this one is my summer feel good fragrance. Just makes me think and feel like summer. Even if I spritz this one on in the winter, it takes me back to like summer nights. Um, it's all about coconut rum and lime and it's got a really great musk base in here. I really wasn't a fan of this for a long time, but so many people raved about it that I kept persevering with it. And now I absolutely love it. It's actually probably my favourite Creed fragrance now. So that's the first one of my five for the rest of my life. That's Creed's Virgin Island Water. Number two from Tom Ford's Private Blend range. This is Oud Wood. Now, this to me is an absolutely stunning fragrance. It's, it's Oud Vanilla Woods. There's some amber in there. Um, at the moment, there's not many fragrances in my collection that I put ahead of this one, certainly on smell. The only downside of this and the only issue I have is that it does only last around four hours for me on my skin which means if I do go out sort of for a night out or or out for the whole day I do have to keep reapplying this one which is a bit of a pain but it does smell so good that I, I don't mind too much so that's my second pick that I'm keeping for the rest of my life that's Oud Wood number three now this is a fragrance that I probably probably enjoy more than any other in terms of smell. If you follow my videos, you probably think that that was going to be Fahrenheit, but it's actually not. It's another Dior fragrance, and it's Dior Homme. Um, now, I absolutely adore Iris in fragrances, and it's done perfectly in here. Um, it's mixed in with um, cocoa and lavender. It's just a be beautiful uh, composition. N really never tire of smelling this one. Uh, it really is great. Um, I do have the, this one here is the current formulation. I do have a bottle of the um, original as well. I'm in the minority, I think, in that I prefer the current formulation of this one. So there you go, that's number three, Dior Homme. Number four, well, you know I couldn't leave this one out the masterpiece that is Fahrenheit from Dior so I've spoken about this so many times on my on my channel but basically it's got this fantastic sort of burnt oil and petrol and rubber type accord in there which makes it really unique and just amazing fragrance to me it's a bit of a love-hate fragrance for people um, not one that I'd recommend blind buying for sure I don't actually wear this very often this is one that I I don't want to get tired of it because I love it so much and it is that type of fragrance that I think if you wore every day you, your nose would get tired of it. Um, so that one has to be on my list of my five fragrances for the rest of my life. Dior Fahrenheit. And the fifth and final one, that I, um, this is going to be my ultimate classy scent. The one that I, I wear when I want to feel like I've got a million pounds in the bank, which I definitely don't by the way. Um, so this is from Roja Parthums, and this is Amber Oud. A very expensive fragrance, some would say overpriced, but my way of thinking with this one, uh, and when I purchased it was, I'd rather have one absolutely ama amazing fragrance that I was going to keep and love than 15 that I just think are okay and, and really never wear. So that's what I did, I consolidated, got rid of some, I bought this, and um, I was happy with the decision because I love it. So to my unworthy nose, this one's kind of got a jammy rose uh, with oud and woods. There's oris in there, there's ylang in there. It's just a stunning, stunning fragrance. So that's my final one. That's a Roger Doves or Roger Parfums Amber Oud. So there you go, that's my five for life, my five fragrances to last me through the rest of my life. Um, love to see some other people do their lists. Thanks as always for watching guys, really appreciate it. Please do rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon with another video. Cheers.